it's me, India, from Leamington Spa Art Gallery and Museum. And for creative kids, this session, we're going to be doing line drawing. We're going to do a continuous line drawing. And that means doing one drawing without taking your pen or pencil off the paper at all. Now that means you've got to look really closely at whatever it is you're drawing. So as an example, I did this one earlier. I just picked three things from around my house. We had this plant here, a Rubik's Cube and a glass. And I tried my best to draw the whole thing without taking my pen off of the paper. But I'm going to do another one with you now. Now at the moment, spring has well and truly sprung. And the flowers are coming up and if you can go for a walk outside it's absolutely beautiful to see all the flowers that are emerging at the moment. And it makes me think of all the lovely flower paintings and drawings that we've got at Leamington Spa Art Gallery Museum. So when it's open again, do come and have a look. There's one in particular, the peonies, and oh, I just love it. It's got so many flowers blooming. So I thought, why not focus on flowers for this one? So I went into my garden and I picked a few of the plants, but you don't have to do that. You could just look out the window or you might have some in your house already. Or if you really don't want, can't do either of those, you might want to just have a look on the internet and see what you can find. So I've got some lavender and some dandelions. And so I'm gonna have a go at drawing those with you now, just to show you what I mean. So I've got a big bit of paper here, but you can use any size you like. So take this pen here. So I'm just going to draw what I can see from my view, so it'll look a little bit different to you. But the one really important thing is I cannot take my pen off the paper. So here we go. So I've got a round pot that goes down like this. And then in my pot are lots of lots of sticky leaves from the lavender, which are short and sharp little leaves. And then the lavender comes up and it's got this sort of oval shape to it. And then inside each of these is a little, inside the oval it's got little dots all around. So I'm going to try and do those making sure not to take my pen off of the paper. And then, the lavender has these crazy petals that come out the top. And it's got quite a few of these actually. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I'm all the way up here and I've got to get down to my dandelion. So I'm going to go around the edge, down the stalk again, and all the way over to here where the dandelion comes up and then it shoots out in all the different angles. Yours will be much better than this. This is just really quick to try and show you and upside down, which is a little bit harder. But you can do whatever you like. Have a look around your house, have a look in outside if you can, and just have a go with trying to do a line drawing, but most importantly, without taking your pen off of the paper. So I did a few others as well. So I looked online. And I tried to see, uh, I found this lovely picture, so I tried to do that without taking my pen off. And I tried to give a little, little bit of texture to the, um, to the vase there. And then also, I tried this one. I tried to do it in different colours. So it's the same picture, as you can see. But really importantly, when you change colour, make sure to put, start your new colour exactly where you left the last one. And then finally, 
I did this one that I showed you earlier, but I tried to do it rather than with pen, I used wool and some PVA glue, or you could use string if you'd rather, and I tried to do it in string, because then you really can't stop and start, you have to do it in one go. So have good fun with this, just try, play around, try out lots of different things, and please share your finished things with us, we'd love to see them. So see you next session, thanks very much, bye!